This is Akashmani. The news read by Anuja Kumar. The Lok Sabha has taken up discussion on the white paper on Indian economy and its impact on lives of people of the country. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman laid the white paper in the lower house today. N.K. Premachandran of RSP and TMC leader Sagata Ray moved a substitute motion against the white paper. In her remarks, the finance minister said, after 10 years of pulling out the Indian economy from the fragile five and taking it to reach the stage of top five economies, the white paper has been laid by the government. She said the paper is laid with responsibility so that the records have factual information on the economy. The minister said it will be a record for posterity for entire India's youth so that they know what effort it took for the government led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi with a vision to restore India to its glory. She said UPA left the economy in a critical state and under the leadership of the Prime Minister, the situation improved and now the country is well respected across the globe. She alleged that the coal scam and other scams during the UPA regime put the country's economy in a serious trouble. Ms. Sita Raman said coal scam had resulted in a loss of 1.86 lakh crore rupees to the exchequer. She said on the other hand, the Modi government has ensured transparent auction of coal blocks. Talking about non-performing assets, the finance minister accused the UPA government of doing favour to certain entities and individuals by passing the norms, which resulted in the increase of their numbers. Two people were killed in a clash between the administration and protesters after the demolition of illegal construction at Haldwani in Nainital district of Uttarakhand last night. Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami has directed ADG Law and Order, AP Anshuman, to camp in the affected area to ensure peace and law. Taking a strict view of the incident of attack on police and administration officials during the removal of illegal construction and spreading unrest in the area, the Chief Minister has also asked for strict action against the unruly elements. In Jammu and Kashmir, a day after the terrorist attack in Srinagar in which two carpenters were killed, security around minority clusters have been tightened in the entire Kashmir Valley. A police spokesman said security arrangements were reviewed in minority clusters and other critical areas in the wake of recent developments. He said all participants were briefed about elaborative security measures taken in this regard. He added that the Divisional Commissioner Kashmir stressed that there shall be efforts by magistrate's office along with police to ensure secure and congenial environment. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar will address the inaugural session of the 7th Indian Ocean Conference in Perth, Australia today. The two-day Indian Ocean Conference commences today with the theme of Towards a Stable and Sustainable Indian Ocean. The conference is a flagship consultative forum for countries in the Indian Ocean region, organized annually by the Ministry of External Affairs since 2016 in association with the India Foundation. The Maharashtra government has signed a memorandum of understanding with Google to utilize artificial intelligence for solutions in sectors like healthcare, education and agriculture. The MOU was signed at Google's Pune office in presence of the Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Farnavis. The minister said this collaboration will empower the citizens with critical future-ready skills, revolutionize essential sectors like healthcare and agriculture. He said the comprehensive partnership with Google has been decided for sustainability across seven different sectors. He said Pune will be on the world map in terms of artificial intelligence. The counting of votes is underway for Pakistan general elections that took place yesterday. The Election Commission of Pakistan has so far announced 34 out of 266 results. Polls in one of the constituencies in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province have been postponed. The Election Commission spokeswoman Nigat Siddiq has given assurances that results will come pouring in soon. At the first ever edition of the ongoing Bimstick Aquatic Championship in Delhi, India is leading the tally so far with 36 medals including 13 gold, 17 silver and 6 bronze. And that is the end of this news bulletin.